Hi everyone and welcome to the General Hospital Recap for August 4th. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. So first off, putting on lipstick was a mistake because I look like a melting Barbie doll. Second, I think a lot of myself to compare myself to a Barbie doll. Third, I put a video up. It's just some thoughts on the Robert Palmer Watkins ousting. I want to do a separate video on that because I didn't want the overall salt to color all these recaps that I'm about to do. Fourth, my goal is for by September to not do any more of these mass uploads and to keep everything up to date. But on a positive note, I am on vacation till nearly the end of August, which means that I will be officially catching up all the way on August 4th. This is what happened on General Hospital. At Ava's, Valentin has an offer for Ava that she can't refuse. Personally, I think it's going to be a plastic surgeon because he got major surgery. He will give her her old life back and restore her face if she withdraws her statement about what happened between him and Nicholas on Castellan Island. Uh, there's a cutting edge procedure and she says that she already did her research and no one can help. And he's like, I'm not, tradi I'm not offering traditional care. And I'm like, okay, so magic, basically. That's what we're at now. We're at magic. Uh, he tells her about his scoliosis and deformed face, his words. Uh, he shows her his before and after. She doesn't seem to take the bait. She thinks it would be vain on her part. Uh, Valentin doesn't want he and Nicholas's names to be dragged through the mud and their sins exposed. Yeah, he's so worried about Nicholas, right? Spencer shouldn't have to know that and Charlotte uh, shouldn't see family sue family. Oh, honey, that is literally nowhere near the worst thing that your family could do to another family member so like chill like you literally murdered his father but whatever well personally i believe that something else went on but tyler christopher went to days so no younger I think he went to, I don't know, he went somewhere else. So basically, I don't think we're getting that redemption story anytime soon. Ava won't change her testimony. She knows what she saw. Even if she believes that he could connect her with miracle workers, she won't change anything. Spencer, Nicholas's child, deserves to know this world isn't as unfair as Valentine has made him believe it is. So props to Ava? I know, what are they doing? Like, oh, I have been after her for months and now they're making her kind of a stand-up person. And that's like... What is on my foot? It was dirt. But seriously, like, why are you making me feel these things, GH? And that's the thing, this show is quality enough to make me feel these things, yet refer to other video. At Kelly's, Laura says that Spencer can't stay in Port Charles. Spencer doesn't want to leave. He has so many memories of his father. She's re-enrolling him in the French boarding school. She thought Valentin was going to go to jail for a long time, but that didn't happen. Spencer promises to do better and he won't go to Valentin again, but it's too late. Uh, Spencer asks if she doesn't love him anymore and my heart literally broke into a million pieces. Like that kid, I swear to God, we are gonna see huge things from him in the future. Like he's gonna win an Oscar one day. I'm calling it right now that Nicholas Bechdel, Oscar one day. Laura loves him and nothing will ever stop that and she can't bear losing him. He's all she has left. There's a wasp in the umbrella, but we're just like, we have a truce right now because he wants to do his wasp thing and he knows I'm doing something important here. Kevin says that they don't want him to leave, but this is in his best interest. Boys his age always believe they're immortal, but he's not. They don't say this to him, but the fact that being kidnapped and the kidnapper out being out there and that he constantly goes to Valentin, he has no concept of the danger he's in or puts himself in. So the one thing that scares Spencer is being all alone. And again, heartbroken in a million pieces. Uh, Spencer calls himself an orphan and Kevin says that he has so much family around him and it, that it's not his responsibility to keep an eye on Valentine. I have you won't be able to sue him, but I think the, the suit's still going forward, so I don't know why I wrote that. Spencer accepts that his dad would want him to have a long and happy life and not deal with this family drama. And he will go to the boarding school to honor his father and stay safe. At General Hospital, Jason asks Garvey who shot Sonny. He says you'll have to ask her and then goes into cardiac arrest of some kind, I think. I've been watching Diagnosis Murder a lot, so I know all the medical terminology because I'm a genius. Jason gets thrown out of the room. Unlike the true drama queen he is, Garvey dies. Because that's kind of been the theme here and I kind of like that. My theme here is that Garvey's a drama queen. So that's what we're doing. So in true Shakespearean fashion, he dies. 
Uh, Sam is reliving some of her hallucinations, including one where she raised a gun to Sunny, and then the real memory at the distillery. She wakes up and she can't tell what's a dream or not. Deanna thinks that maybe it was the sedative that gave her like these, you know, more heightened dreams, and then Jason comes back. She tells Jason she had a dream, or maybe it was a memory, but it couldn't have been a memory because she would never do something like that. Uh, she says something's wrong, like she can feel it, and he says that she would never hurt the kids, and she asks if Sonny's alright, and Jason's like, ooh. At the distillery, the seconds are counting down. Carly won't leave Sonny. She physically walks him out of there. Well, as far as they can get, there is a leaf on my hand. Uh, Carly and Sonny, the, the first explosion goes off and we cut back and Carly and Sonny are under the rubble, but like not totally, but like enough. And Sonny at first is like super knocked out. But he wakes up and Carly tries to call for help and all of a sudden there's another countdown and there's no way they'll be able to survive another countdown. So Carly's trying to dig Sonny out of the rubble, she's trying to get herself out, and Dante approaches the countdown guy and says there's someone on the site. So Carly's getting the rubble off of Sonny and they realize the countdown has stopped. Uh, then the announcement comes that they will be conducting a search for someone on the site. And Carly's like, they know, they know we're here, they know you're here, Sonny, everything's okay. So Dante's calling and he finds them. Paramedics are already on the way. He tells them Spencer's okay, he escaped. He tells Dante about the text. Sonny says that he shot Garvey. So back at General Hospital. Carly is at the hospital with Dante, Sonny's in treatment. Forensics is checking out the scene, like forensics does you know, murder. So they remove the bullet from Sunny and Carly can see him for a few minutes. Uh, Sunny asks how she is. Uh, she says she's okay. You know, she's good. Just a little exploded, but otherwise fine. And he's going to be fine too. He made it. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come on. We might have gone a long way, but we know we'd get there someday. They say, I said, we never make it, but just look at how far we've come. We're still together, still holding strong. You're still the one, you're still the one that I love. The only one I dream of. You're still the one I kiss Good night. That's not the that. Dante comes in. <laughs> he asks if Sonny can tell him what happened. Sonny can barely think right as it is. Like, so he can't give like a recap of what happened. Hey. There is some lipstick on that. It's fine. He called Michael and let him know he's okay. And he, uh, Michael and Christine are going to be on their way. Jason asks Sam why she's asking about Sunny and she says in her dreams they were threatening each other and she wonders if like she would do anything to hurt Sunny, you know? And Jason says she's been fighting this a long time, maybe months, uh, maybe the dream was more abstract, you know? <laughs> Ooh. What is this weird shadow? Whatever. Uh, she wonders if she's threatened people and he says that, you know, she was concerned with his safety and Sam's like, no, it was all about Sunny. So she tells him what Sunny was saying, but it doesn't sound right, because Sunny would never say stuff like that. Jason wants her to focus on the here and now, but she's still so focused on the nightmares and hallucinations, but he wants her to rest, you know? Carly tells Jason they found Sunny, Garvey shot him and left him for dead. And she asks about Sam, and Jason's like, ah, oh, she's good. And Sunny hears Jason talking about Sam. So Sam dreams about her standoff with Sunny. And now end scene. Ava wants Valentine to leave now. He tries to get into her head one more time. Ava takes off her mask and pours herself a drink. And I would like to remind myself and everyone because I can't let stuff go. Uh, how much grief she gave Alexis for drinking during her time of strife. Anyway, just saying, just putting it out there. Anyway, she uncovers a mirror and will that make her change her decision? Laura is going with Spencer to France and is going to stay with him for a few weeks and Spencer asks like what about Kevin? They'll both miss Kevin and Kevin will miss them and Kevin's like no I'm not gonna miss you guys because I'm going with you and okay like they're really cute like I love the three of them like we have a spin-off of them in France because like I would pay money to see that or you know just keep watching the show oh. but I know okay so I know a lot of people were sad and upset that they were you know Nicholas Bechdel was leaving for now but he does have that other show on Disney so like that's a good that's an okay leaving like we're good with that that's okay like he needs to leave it's just other stuff we can be salty about as a family uh, Sam keeps dreaming about the final interaction with Sunny as uh, she wakes with a jolt after she pushed Sunny in the pit 
Carly and Jason come into Sonny's room. He asks Jason how much he knows. Uh, Dante comes in and tells them Garvey is dead. Sonny says something. He could have said he didn't shoot him. This was like two weeks ago. I know, I know. I'm my bad. All right, so that is it for 8-4. I'll see you in two seconds for 8-7. All right, August 7th. Remember the beginning of August? We were all young, tan, beautiful. And now look at us. We're younger, tanner, and more beautiful. Hey, okay, yeah, seriously, the espresso beans are trying to start kicking in, so, motorcycle.